as a quarterback in the league for 19 years, and you played at such a high level for such a long time. What would you do against the Jaguars' defense? Because they're, they're flat out legit. They're good. Listen, Sam, I would want no part of our Jaguars defense. I mean, it's not just about the pass rush. It's the secondary. Right. I mean, you see the quarterback here. It just show, goes to show in this play right here how quickly that pocket can collapse. Mm. You don't have a lot of time to get rid of that ball, Sam, because that defensive front, they are getting after you. You hope you have a, an outlet, a place to check down. Uh, in this case, there's just nothing there. There's Quarterback's nobody there. Get sacked. Yeah. There's nobody there. Yeah. The quarterback's going to go down. Here, this uh, against the Browns. The, it's always important to put some sort of pressure on the quarterback so he's got something else to think about besides throwing it downfield. Yeah, no question. I mean, this is a play action. I, I'm impressed with the linebackers. They take a couple steps forward and then immediately retreat into their zone. Uh, typically, on a better play action fake, you'll get those linebackers, Telvin Smith, to suck up a little bit. But this is a great play by him. It's just a, a player that's just very smart, very aggressive. Obviously, Linebacker, he's got pretty good hands there. That was a big play, well executed by the defense. Yeah, and that's that's something that we haven't seen the Jaguars disguise some things that they've done. And then Paul Pozlozny's all over when the Jaguars beat the Steelers 30 to nine, five interceptions. And while this is a great catch by Jalen Ramsey, it's the pressure from Pozlozny that makes the difference. You're, you're right, it, and and Ben, he, you can see on that play the throwing motion has already started. He already knows where he wants to go. But even though his eyes are downfield, Sam, he knows Puzz is about ready to hit him. <laughs> he hits Ben. Uh, ben doesn't have a chance to transfer his weight and get some zip on the ball. He doesn't get to put it where he wants to. But then Jalen Ramsey makes that diving catch. It's an incredible interception. It was a bad day for Ben. Um, but when you get pressure on a quarterback, uh, that's a game changer. And uh, Ben Roethlisberger on that day certainly felt a lot of pressure. So when Taylor and Peterman are preparing this week in the quarterback meetings yep. against the Jaguars, I mean, there's a lot to digest there with Ramsey and Bouye and the speed of the linebackers and then the talent that they've got up front. What, what, do, what do you do? What, what, do you, how, what kind of game plan do you put together? You have to start with the running game. Mm. Uh, you've got to establish the line of scrimmage if you can. You've got to be able to run the football to take some pressure off the passing game. Not going to be easy to do, even you know, especially if, if LaShawn McCoy is not available. Uh, I would hate to have to face this defense in Everbank, considering that pass rush and the strength of that secondary. With nearly 70,000 there. I oh, know yeah. you do this on Monday nights, but, you know, we should take this on the road. I think we should. <laughs> Pretty good at this. Mark Brunel, of course, uh, Monday night, the Mark Brunel Show on the CW. Hope you enjoyed End Zone Friday night. Looking forward to Sunday, 1 o'clock at the stage.